Hello, my name is Tim Garland, creator and owner of the Seaboard Central. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about the brand new Seaboard Central boss car that you can order for your own layout. The history of the Seaboard Central begins in January 1990 when it is incorporated to take over operations between Cartersville and Cedartown, Georgia from CSX Transportation. Four years later, a unique opportunity presented itself when the Georgia Port Authority decided to sell the 23-mile Savannah State Docks Railroad. The purchase included a group of 50-foot boxcars in a blue scheme with a large white stripe. SC management was so impressed with the look of the cars, it was decided to change the corporate colors of scarlet red and dark gray to medium blue and white. To capitalize on increased business opportunities, a new source of revenue from car hire rates beginning in 1995 the railroad took delivery of 50 rebuilt boxcars from Home Shops LLC. They all arrived in a similar blue and white scheme. The new cars were numbered in the 40250 through 40299 series and were made up of 70 ton cushion underframe boxcars specifically designed for grade A and B commodities. All were assigned in a shipper assigned pool out of Savannah. This meant they would not be available for reload purposes without penalty fees. Upon empty release, they should be billed back to the Agent SC in Savannah. From 1995 until 2005, the cars were interchanged at Savannah to either CSX, Georgia Central, or Norfolk Southern for forwarded movement. But starting in 2005, after the takeover of the Georgia Central, which included trackage from Savannah to Macon, Georgia, the cars were interchanged to Norfolk Southern in Macon and Alabama City, Alabama, along with BNSF and CSX in Birmingham, Alabama. The shipper pool is for River Street Trading from the warehouses located along the pier in Savannah. Typical commodities consist of copper, plywood, and rubber, which is used in the tire production. Along with food grade items, such as beans, coffee, and rice, filled in large super sacks. Since all the cars in the series qualify for the 50-year life rule and are made up of a fleet of cars that were originally built in 1980, they are eligible for interchange up until 2029. So be sure to look out for these attractive and unique Seaboard Central cars traveling all across the United States. These models were specifically produced for Home Shops LLC by Intermountain, and they feature clear, crisp lettering and colors. The slogan, Dock to Box Service, was added to the large white stripe, along with a pair of international shipping flags that mean the letters S and C. The new Seaboard Central, Seaboard Coastline inspired lettering adorns the right side of the car. The cars feature exquisite details such as etched metal end platforms, cut levers, air hoses, wire grab irons, metal wheels, and KD couplers. To order some of your very own Seaboard Central box cars, you can go to homeshops.net and I would consider it an honor and privilege to see some of the Seaboard Central cars found on layouts all across the United States and the world for that matter. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Home Shops LLC for considering the Seaboard Central as part of their unique fleet of freelance railroads. And you can be sure to look for all six of these cars in service on the SC, serving various customers from products built out of the Port of Savannah. So until next time, Thank you for everyone for stopping by and thanks for considering the SC to be part of your own layout. Until next time, I'm Tim Garland and thanks for watching the Seaboard Central.